BPC-157. BPC-157 is a repair-focused peptide that acts like your body's personal pit crew when something gets banged up. Some people talk about BPC-157 like it's some mystical healing potion, but honestly, it's more like handing your body a toolbox and saying, fix this faster. If you think of your muscles, tendons, and gut lining as parts of a race car, BPC-157 is the crew member sliding under the chassis with a wrench before you even know something snapped. Imagine you scraped your knee, strained your shoulder, or your stomach feels like you swallowed a blender. This peptide helps your body patch things up more quickly by supporting blood flow to damaged areas and boosting the signals your cells use when they repair themselves. It doesn't magically make you Wolverine, but compared to doing nothing, recovery tends to feel less slow motion and more fast forward. The best part is how simple its job is, Encourage healing, no complicated detours, no fireworks, more like a quiet little worker bee that keeps buzzing around wounds, helping them close up and calm down. Athletes like it because sore joints and small injuries don't drag on forever. People who lift weights like it because it feels like soreness clocks out earlier than usual. Of course, it's not a green light to turn into a stuntman. You can't leap off a roof and expect BPC-157 to sweep in with a mop. Think of it like speed-boosted recovery, not invincibility mode. And while there's lots of positive early research, most of it is still on animals. So the science is promising, but not complete. Rita Trutide. This is the peptide that's making Ozempic look outdated. People are losing more weight, faster, with less effort, and the studies are proving it. Head-to-head -head comparisons show retitrutide outperforming semaglutide, which is what's inside Ozempic, by a pretty wide margin. That's why it's being called the next generation of fat loss drugs. Here's why it works so well. Most fat loss peptides hit one or two targets in your body. Retitrutide hits three at once, meaning it's attacking fat from multiple angles while other drugs are only using one strategy. The result? Two things that make fat loss almost automatic. First, your appetite gets crushed, not just a little less hungry, more like forgetting food exists for hours at a time. Hunger signals barely fire. Second, fat burning ramps up hard. Your body starts pulling energy from fat stores faster than normal, and you're doing it while eating way less without needing any willpower. The combination is what makes it so effective. You're not fighting cravings, you're not forcing yourself through meals, your body just stops asking for food as often, and when it does, you're satisfied on way less. TB500. If you've got an injury that just won't heal, this is what fixes it. Your body makes a repair protein naturally whenever something gets damaged. TB500 is that same protein, just pumped up to levels your body could never hit on its own. What happens? Injuries that have been sitting there for months start healing. That shoulder that clicks every time you lift your arm. The knee that hurts when you go downstairs. The lower back pain that never quite goes away. TB500 gets in there and actually rebuilds the damaged tissue. Tendons, ligaments, muscles, all of it. Athletes use this constantly because it doesn't just mask pain, it fixes the problem. And as things heal you get your mobility back. Flexibility improves. Range of motion comes back. You're not just pain-free, you're moving better than you were before the injury. One quick note, if there's any cancer or tumor growth happening, stay away from this. It promotes cell repair, which is perfect for injuries but not something you want if abnormal cells are involved. Folistatin 344. This one removes the natural limit on how much muscle you can build. Your body has a protein called myostatin, and its only job is to stop you from getting too big. It's a built-in break on muscle growth, keeps you from packing on size too fast. Folistatin blocks that break entirely. When that limit gets removed, muscle growth speeds up beyond what your genetics normally allow. You're not just building muscle faster, you're breaking through plateaus that would normally stop you dead. Bodybuilders obsess over this because the gains feel different. Not just a little better, noticeably bigger, noticeably faster, strength goes up, size goes up, and it stacks well with other muscle building peptides, so if someone's already running growth hormone or IGF-1, adding folistatin on top amplifies everything. CJC-1295 CJC-1295 is one of the most popular peptides out there. Instead of injecting growth hormone directly, it tells your body to make more of its own. It signals your pituitary gland to release higher levels of growth hormone naturally, which means better recovery, deeper sleep, more fat loss, and muscle growth all at once. Growth hormone affects a lot in the body, so when levels go up, the benefits show up everywhere. People wake up more refreshed, soreness disappears faster, body composition improves, leaner, tighter, more muscle definition. There are two versions. One lasts longer in your system so you don't need to inject as often, 
The other clears out faster which gives more control but requires more frequent doses. Both work, just depends on preference. CJC is often stacked with ipamorelin because they work together perfectly. IGF-1 LR3. This one skips the middleman and goes straight to building muscle. Most peptides work by telling your body to release more growth hormone. IGF-1 is what growth hormone turns into after it's released, so this just goes directly to the end result. No waiting, no conversion process. The LR3 version is modified to last longer in your system. Regular IGF-1 gets broken down fast, but LR3 sticks around for hours, which means more time to do its job. What's the job? Packing on muscle and speeding up recovery. It pushes nutrients straight into muscle cells instead of fat cells, so when you eat, more of that food goes toward building size and less toward storing fat. Soreness drops, recovery time gets cut in half. Bodybuilders love this during growth phases because the results are obvious. Strength jumps, size comes on faster, it's not subtle. The risk? It can drop blood sugar if it's not used carefully. IGF-1 mimics insulin in some ways, so anyone using this needs to pay attention to how their body responds, especially around meals. This is an advanced peptide, not a beginner move, but extremely effective for anyone chasing serious muscle growth. Ipamorelin. Ipamorelin works alongside peptides like CJC-1295, but it has its own role. While CJC tells your body to release growth hormone, Ipamorelin controls how that release happens. It creates clean, strong pulses of growth hormone without spiking cortisol or prolactin, two hormones you don't want going up. Cortisol breaks down muscle and stores fat. High prolactin messes with mood and sex drive. Epimorelin avoids all that. You get the growth hormone boost without the side effects that come with other peptides. The benefits are solid, better recovery, improved sleep, fat loss, and some muscle growth. But because it's gentler and cleaner, it's one of the safest peptides to run long term. People use it for months without issues. It's also beginner friendly. The effects are noticeable but not overwhelming, and the risk of problems is low. When stacked with CJC-1295, the two work perfectly together. CJC keeps growth hormone elevated, and epimorelin makes sure those pulses hit hard and clean. It's one of the most common peptide combos for anti-aging and body composition. GHK-CU GHK-CU is all about looking better and healing faster. It's a copper peptide that shows up naturally in your body when you're young. It plays a big role in wound healing, skin repair, and keeping tissue healthy. As you age, levels drop, and that's part of why skin loses tightness and recovery slows down. GHK-CU brings those levels back up. It boosts collagen production, tightens skin, reduces wrinkles, and speeds up wound healing. People use it topically, rubbing it directly on skin and through injections for deeper full-body effects. It also helps with scars, stretch marks, and general signs of aging. Hair growth is another benefit people report. It won't turn someone bald into having a full head of hair, but thickness improves and hair loss slows down. Biohackers and anti-aging enthusiasts love GHKCU because the results show up in the mirror. Skin looks better, recovery improves, and it happens fast enough to actually notice. It's not building muscle or melting fat, but for longevity, aesthetics, and recovery, GHKCU delivers on all three. Epitalon. This is the longevity peptide, and the claims around it are bold. It's a chain of four amino acids, the building blocks of protein, and its main job is protecting the caps on the ends of your DNA. Those caps are called telomeres, and they're like the plastic tips on shoelaces that keep them from fraying. Every time your cells divide, those caps get shorter. When they get too short, the cell can't divide anymore, and that's part of how aging happens. Epitalon is believed to slow that process down or even reverse it slightly. The idea is that it helps keep those protective caps intact for longer, which means cells can keep dividing and your body ages slower at the cellular level. Most of the research comes out of Russia, and while the studies are promising, they're not as widespread as other peptides on this list. Still, the concept of slowing down aging from the inside out is why biohackers and longevity enthusiasts are all over it. Beyond the aging side, people report better sleep, more energy, and improved mood. Part of that comes from Epitalon's effect on melatonin production. It helps regulate sleep cycles and gets the body back into a natural rhythm. It's not a magic pill for living forever, but if the goal is extending lifespan, improving recovery, and optimizing how the body ages, Epitalon is one of the most interesting peptides in that space.